Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Path. Um, in this video, we're going to look into how you can create your own input receiver to receive input from various input devices. Now, to see the default behavior, um, I have my world here and an agent, and I'm just going to add um, the quick start to my agent that will allow me to navigate this unit around and select it with input devices. Now, the default behavior is for this to add to my game world an input receiver basic which is as the name suggests a very basic input receiver it has hard-coded values for all the keyboard um, keys and the mouse buttons used so you cannot change this through the input manager so obviously it is, this is rec recommended that you replace this with your own input receiver um, to allow well for uh, changing and probably also because you want to integrate um, your own input into this. Uh, the second thing it adds is a selection rectangle um, which is the one that you see in the scene when you drag uh, this rectangle around to select uh, units. So in order to replace uh, this basic input receiver we will need to write some script. Um, so let's go to the code editor and for this example we're simply going to use um, the input receiver created for the Apex examples so if you have installed the examples project you can refer um, to that. Now as you can see um, the input receiver doesn't implement any interfaces it's just a normal mono behavior. The only thing that it needs to do is it needs to get marked by this input receiver attribute which will tell us that it should not be replaced by the basic input receiver. So once you've attached this, then it won't get replaced if you use other quick starts, basically. So for now you will actually have to manually add your own input receivers to uh, your game world. That will not take place automatically uh, in the quick starts. We may improve on that at a later date. Anyway, um, so let's look at how you actually set up your input receiver. Now the first thing to notice is that it uses a class called the input controller. Now the differences between these two are that the input receiver is the one that actually takes input from the various input devices, mouse, keyboard, whatever, and the input controller is the one that defines the interface of what methods you can actually call to control stuff in Apex Path. Now you can create your own input controller by deri deriving your class from this or you can just work with multiple input controllers. Now let's just have a quick look at the public API of the input controller. Now the input controller is an integral part of Apex Path and it has a number of methods on it. And we'll just cover those real quickly. It can select the unit range. It can select the unit range tentatively. The difference between the two being that one is I am about to select which is the tentative one and the other one is now I actually have selected. If we go back into Unity, the difference being that while I'm dragging my selection rectangle, this is a tentative selection, and once I release it, it will be an actual selection. Then you can select a unit directly, either by position or by its index. And then you have uh, an option to select groups and assign groups. Selecting groups is, you know, for grouping up uh, units, assigning them some index, and then you can uh, select the group by pressing that same index number or whatever other keyboard key. Um, and lastly, we have the set destination, um, which allows me to, yeah, by some input, I can set a destination for my unit. Okay, so let's get back to the input receiver PC and look at how it's implemented. Now, the first thing is that we have done it all in the update method. So this is where input is received. That's pretty basic. As you can see, we have three methods that are called each update, uh, movement, selection, and miscellaneous. Now, in the, well, maybe we should just look at awake, awake real quick. This is just where we get our input controller reference and we also get a reference to our selection rectangle. Um, which is used in these uh, when you select ranges. 
you are not required to use the selection rectangle you can use your own and you can completely skip that if it doesn't fit your game it's completely up to you um, now the movement is quite simple there's only one as we saw just before we can set a destination and that's it and in this case it simply looks for the set destination input which in this case is dynamic you can set it to whatever you want through the input manager in unity as you can say well, I've defined this input button class which is simply just um, a list of static um, or constant strings that are the same as the ones defined in the input manager in Unity. So just to show that real quick if you're not familiar with it um, we can go to project settings input and in here I can then define however many I want of different kinds of input in this case for instance set destination this is the one used for assigning a unit its destination as, as, as we can see right now this has been set to mouse 1 which is my right mouse button uh, and selection as you can see has been set to mouse 0 which is my left mouse button and there are a number of other um, input uh, keys right here so um, back to scripting so it gets back to the input receiver now the selection um, then has all the rest of the input controllers methods implemented here so as you can see all of them start with some sort of uh, check if a given input has been uh, received and if it has been received it will call the appropriate method on the input controller and that is all you need to do and you can implement all of them or you can just implement a small selection of them for instance if you don't want to have the ability to group up units well you can just simply skip that um, there are no um, requirements uh, for doing that and then I've, we have a miscellaneous one which is not really relevant for this uh, example but of course you can create whatever other input that you need for your own game and put it in the same class so that is basically all there is to it um, that is the way you replace uh, the input receiver with your own input receiver and that just to touch on uh, the selection rectangle one final time um, as we saw uh, it was added to the game world and you can well you could remove it completely if you don't want it at all but you can also change the actual visual of this selection rectangle by simply manipulating the class here oh sorry the um, the game object underneath the selection rectangle okay so that was it for input receivers hope that made sense see you in the next video